So I get all set up to start doing my video, get my little table together, get my coins over there, gloves, and then this little bugger out, saling, Sal's cat, decides she's just going to have a wee snooze on top here. Misty, hello. <laughs> You're going to have to move, darling. I have to make a video and I want a bottle of beer. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> You'll know if I'm on a different table in a different room and the light's all completely different that the cat's having none of it and I've had to shift everything. But I'll be back in just a moment. So here we are again, Big L. And uh, I managed to get shot of the cat. She's sitting three feet that way oh <laughs> anyway what i've got today back on the beer because i'm back home again so this is talisman lager by the alchemy brewery now they're based in livingston which um the last beer i was drinking was about 20 miles that way and this one is about 20 miles that way from where we are so it's a lager we're having this one. I don't know if you can see it here, but when I opened it, <laughs> I lost half of it. <laughs> the froth. But simple ways of making uh, some nice beer. Uh, they start off with malt and water, go into stage two, add some hops, then they add some yeast, and then they stick it in bottles. It doesn't get much easier than that. Much more straightforward. So let's have a slug. You can have a quick look at what we're going to be looking at today. Good health to everybody. Oh yeah. Standard response. Fine beer. <laughs> I was watching a video just yesterday by Coin Sense and Nonsense uh, and he picked up the two new Italian mint uh, cryptozoology rounds the uh, jackalope and the chupacabra and uh, if any of you are Scooby-Doo fans the way Callum and I are one of his movies, the full length movies um, the monster of Mexico the baddie is the chupacabra and so uh, I was uh, quite intrigued so I've already managed to place an order for the two ounce round of the chupacabra it was supposed to be a surprise, but um, Callum, who never ever looks at the computer I use, uh, happened to, for the first time ever, sit down and click on the computer and opened up to uh, an acknowledgement of the order. So, <laughs> so much for it being a surprise. But this uh, series started uh, a while back, and the very, very first one in the series was this uh, Loch Ness Monster um, round. And uh, I've got the one ounce and the two ounce one here. It's a bit of a swizz if you actually, you know, cryptozoology. So that's kind of folklore creatures. These are real, the ones from Scotland. Ness is real. Oh. Infamous since 1933, but we've known about it here for 1500 years. And it's a beautiful, beautiful round. And I found a, you know, it's just a standard 39mm round, so I could pop it in a standard airtight. But, sadly, the 2 ounce round, even though I noticed that Coin Sense and Nonsense did have them in rounds, uh, in airtights with the, uh, with the black surrounds, I haven't been able to find one myself. The 2 ounce capsules that I have don't appear to fit this one. High relief. Fabulous, fabulous design. This one could be a photograph because this is exactly what Nessie looks like. Or so I'm told. So that's the ones that we've got so far. A two ounce and a one ounce Nessie. 
I wasn't really going to pay an awful lot of attention to this, but as I say, whenever I saw the Chupacabra coin, uh, and then later on in, in the video, uh, Coin Sense and Nonsense mentioned the next two are the Kraken and the Unicorn. And so, you know, I have a funny feeling that I'm going to be probably going after the big put, the Bigfoot, the Jackalope and the Kraken as well as the other ones, because uh, uh, Loch Ness Monster and the Unicorn, although I, I think for the series, uh, the Unicorn is less about it being Scottish and more about it being European. But uh, as you'll be well aware, the national animal <laughs> of Scotland is in fact an imaginary one, <laughs> the unicorn. So I'll have some of that when it comes out. And uh, in the meantime, let us know what you think. I'm going to go and finish my beer. It's the first one I've had for a while, having been spending some time at the old in-laws. Great to be back home again. And uh, anyway, this has gone on far too long. So let me know what you think about these ones. And uh, should I go for the rest of the series? They're fabulous designs and really really well made so I think I might but let me know what you think and if you haven't already please like the video please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you all in the next one bye, -bye.